In this video, we will discuss about proximity sensors. Proximity sensors are extensively used in almost all industries like food processing industry, automobile, uh, manufacturing industry, etc. And there are various types of proximity sensor like optical sensor, capacitive sensor, inductive sensor, Hall effect basis sensor, and uh, Ridley basis sensor, etc. And out of all these, optical, capacitive, inductive are most commonly used. And in this video, we will discuss about optical sensors. Optical proximity sensors are very popular for providing discrete output for sensing of the objects. And these uh, sensors will basically consist of an emitter that is source and a detector. And these emitter and detector are positioned in such a way that the object will block or reflect a beam of the light. Optical uh, sensors are further classified into uh, through beam type optical sensor, retro reflective type uh, optical sensor and diffuse type optical sensor. If you see uh, through beam type uh, optical sensor, uh, it, it consists of a um, uh, separate uh, source and uh, separate uh, detector assembly. So but what is the disadvantage with this uh, type is um, so that as, as there are separate uh, modules, the alignment uh, will be difficult and also the maintenance. So in almost all the optical type uh, sensors, this light that is emitted uh, from the source uh, is of uh, modulated signal. Instead of uh, DC, modulated signal is used. So what is the advantage of uh, using a modulated signal is, so um, yeah, the receiver will distinguish uh, this modulated signal uh, from the extraneous light like uh, fluorescence light or the direct sunlight and um, this will improve the noise immunity of uh, the sensor and also it will increase the sensing range of the detect so in through beam type in addition to general purpose in general purpose which consists of an emitter and a receiver and the receiver will detect the signal um, uh, that is blocked by the sensing object in addition to that uh, there is another type which is most commonly used is latent uh, light curtain um, um, or area sensor uh, which consists of a series of emitters and series of receivers so what are the advantages or application of uh, this um, light curtain is so these are um, mainly used for uh, safety applications uh, like like uh, um, the furnaces or uh, cutting machines so this uh, sensor will uh, uh, limit will uh, stop the operation of uh, the machine whenever an object or operator will enter into a danger area the other type is retro reflective type optical sensor as compared to through beam type uh, it uh, consists of a single module that houses both the emitting and receiving elements Mm, it also consists of uh, reflector uh, that is used for uh, reflecting the light uh, in the absence of the object. But the problem with this type of uh, proximity sensor is whenever a glossy or shiny target is present so that itself will act as a reflector and it will use a wrong signal to the receiving element. This problem can be solved by using a polarizing filters. So what is the use of polarizing filter is the electromagnetic wave which is uh, coming from the uh, source. So which is of random nature and it, uh, and it will be in all directions. The light uh, will be in all directions. So by using a um, polarizing filter that is a horizontal polarizing filter. So it, it will allow the electromagnetic wave in only in horizontal plane. And similarly, the vertical polarizing filter will allow the uh, electromagnetic uh, wave in only in vertical direction. In the figure shown, the reflector uh, will convert the polarized signal into an unpolarized signal and uh, further detected by the receiving element. Whereas uh, uh, if the glossy or a specular object is present, it will not uh, convert uh, the polarized signal into unpolarized signal and it will reflect the same horizontal uh, signal towards uh, the vertical polarized uh, filter and it is blocked and it is not sensed by the receiving element. And the next type is diffuse type optical sensor. Uh, it consists of a single model that houses both the uh, receiver and uh, source element and it does not uh, uses uh, any reflector and the object itself will act as a reflector and uh, the minimum light uh, mm, uh, that is reflected uh, by the sensing object itself is sufficient for detecting the object. And the common outputs of uh, proximity sensors are NPN and PNP type and the figure shows how they are uh, connected to the PLCs. Thank you for listening.